I'm doing my part. And this is why I'm here interviewing Casper van Dien. Hi, Casper. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, fine, thank you. I just played the solo missions uh, with you in charge. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was I pretty. Oh, well, really? Yeah, I just did the voiceover for it, but I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. How did it look? Pretty great. Yeah. You're missing an eye, but that's okay. Yeah, I know, I know about that. I lost that in one of the movies. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, the guys know. Yeah. Should know. Um, so, how do you feel being back in the franchise? Um, I love being uh, getting to reprise General Johnny Rico again. Um, I'm, I'm playing the game right now. I've been playing the 16 person. I play as General J. Rico uh, when I'm st streaming it. So I'm, I'm out there playing it right now uh, on, on PC. But uh, I'm excited to see October 11th when it comes out on PlayStation 5 and Xbox and crossplay and all that, where you can play my solo thing with me. All right. You like playing with me? Yeah. You're a leader, right? Yeah. So. I'm doing my part and exterminate the bugs. Yeah, you killed some bugs? Yeah. That's what we need. That's what I like to hear. Great. And the guys are doing the part too, so. Yeah, they're always a German division of Starship Troopers. Rico's Roughnecks is outstanding. So you said you're a streamer. Um, do you play games? I do. I, well, I'm only playing Starship Troopers Extermination. I've, I've played a couple others with my daughter. I played like Fortnite and uh, a couple other things with her. but. But I, I'm really, this is my jam. I've always wanted this. When I saw the movie come out, uh, when I first saw the movie after we filmed it, uh, I was like, you guys gotta make a game. And uh, I've been waiting for it. There's been a lot of games that have been tributes or, or, or inspired or like it, and I've always loved that. It's incredible, but I really wanted this. And, and, and you know, this is me, this is my world. This is what I love. Yeah. I said to the developer early, uh, why didn't you make it earlier? Because we need this game. Well, you know, people keep saying that to me, and then I look at, they, they've created this carnage. I don't know if you've played the, the uh, early access right now. So the, the bugs right now, they just added this like last month or a month, two months ago, where all the bugs get killed and you just die, they pile up and you can crawl over, you can crawl on them. I got buried alive one time. I also had a guy come and rescue me one time. Um, it's incredible. Uh, even if you blow them up or burn them, you can do whatever you want, but you leave and you come back and they're still there. When I was playing games back in the day, when I was gaming, um, everything disappeared, and I think it still does, but not in this game. And I love that. Yeah, the, the carnage and the gore is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's it's something it's something to behold, and I'm 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 grateful to be a part of it. And I I think that they've really made Starship Troopers, but they've made it on acid, on drugs, on on steroids. Everything just you want it. This is uh, you know it's all five movies compacted in one plus all the bugs from all five movies and in new bugs and then these bugs now some have armament or there's the the tiger you know the tiger warrior bugs or now you now you saw that the uh, you know the the uh, uh, you know there's just so many bugs it's just <laughs> um, did you know back then uh, when you took on the role of Johnny Rico that it would be this uh, great of a franchise I was hoping it would be I mean I, I knew who I was working with Paul Verhoeven Ed Newmeyer John Davison Phil Tippett all those, the creators of Robocop, you know, what they did with that was incredible. And then just Verhoeven's career alone is just amazing. And, 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 uh, and Phil Tippett's as well. I mean, what they've been able to accomplish, all these guys. So the filmmakers, knowing what they were, I knew I was in something special. I was also a fan of the book before. Um, so I, I'd gone to military school, so I'd grown up uh, shooting guns and running around playing military. And my dad was a, a military guy, so I, I really loved this. And I, I loved that it also showed the camaraderie between the troopers. And, and that, you know, in Starship Troopers Extermination, if you, you get rewarded if you try to help somebody, if, if they get wounded and you come and you, you, you help revive them, you know, you get, you get benefits for that. And, and that's awesome. So I, it also, you need them. You need all the troopers with you. You need, you need that to fight the bugs. It does. Yeah. So do you think is Starship Troopers a dystopia or a utopia? Wow, what a great question. Uh, it could be a utopian dystopia. <laughs> great. So um, you, the developers said you, you were working closely with them. Um, in the development and uh, did you get any uh, could you drop any hints or any Easter eggs um, when you when you were on set so when I went up to there and I, I went up to, to, to Vancouver and I was hanging out with them I got to meet all the people and I went to each desk and I sat with each person and they showed me what they were doing and then I tell them a story about Starship Troopers and they're like oh we're putting that in the movie and I was like so I told them things. You'll see different things in it. There's the one where a shovel gets uh, is in the wall, and they did that from Starship Troopers 3, where my introduction is a guy gets impaled with a, a shovel after a bombardier bug blows up, 
and then I come and I pull the shovel out. He falls down, and I look over and I see a hand. I go, "Give me a," uh, I see a foot. I go, "Give me a hand, uh, trooper, and pick up that foot." Uh, you know, it's, it's, but they they have that, so you can pull the, the 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 shovel out in this. You can fight the bugs with it. You know, you can knife the bugs. You can knife your way out of things. It's it's incredible what you can do with it. So I mean, there's the details like that. I mean, that they can be that specific. And then when I would tell them things, they're like, "Well, we're adding that into the game." They, they they were huge fans, and that that's a benefit to any game when you have people that are uh, genuine, bona fide fans of the franchise. Not just the first film; they they actually like the other ones, which sometimes surprises to me. Um, but they also, where we lacked finances and money in in the films, they were able to compensate and over uh, you know and and correct where what we couldn't do. They made it even cooler. So in the game, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I loved it uh, when I started playing the early access with the 16-player uh, multiplayer, and uh, people were like screaming and saying, "Tell my mom I was great and I did my part." Yeah, it was pretty awesome because the people were right into it. Yeah, they're, they're huge fans. And when I play right now and I come on and start saying the lines, one guy said to me, he "Goes, yeah, you sound just like the guy from the movie." And I go, "I am." And they're like, "No way!" So I go on. I play. I'm, I play like four or five times a week. So maybe we'll we'll share screen time. I love that. I love it. I'm General J Rico, all lowercase. You might see me out there. Okay, guys. October 2024, Starship Troopers Examination. Thank you for your time. Yeah, you know what to do. Kill yeah. them all. Yeah. Welcome to the Roughnecks. <laughs>